phenomena we'll see here also because light is electromagnetic wave so electromagnetic wave is no different from the light except for the fact that the light is visible to us but there are other electromagnetic waves which are not visible with a different wavelength but they are transverse waves as well as electromagnetic waves so the light waves and the other electromagnetic waves also have similar properties except for wavelength and energy so we'll see all these kind of things in our unit 3 so hope this will be uh, a bit interesting compared to the previous one where we were deriving the expressions for the um, maxwell's equations and the other wave equations deriving derived from that so we'll go with some good oh, oh just a minute right so the next this is the first topic in our unit that is bounded media so what is a bounded media so you can see a signal travels through physical media a central conductor shielded on the outside by a jacket material so this kind of physical media is called as the bounded media bound bound and dainty you have a limit you have a boundary so you allow the electromagnetic wave to travel through something but while traveling this has a boundary this is not just like you know um, unpolarized wave you have a picture like you have a dot in the center and then all the rays are going in every direction without any stop right but here in this bounded media you can see that there is something stopping or something coming in between the motion or the propagation of this electromagnetic wave inside the conductor so what are the examples of this bounded media you can see coaxial cabling and then twisted pair cabling and then fiber optic cabling what is this coaxial cabling you have a single wire and then it is surrounded by different material especially like the polymer material or the plastic material which you can see example is your dish wire you have um, dish connection to your tvs hope hope everybody has that connection so when you see that wire so it's a coaxial cable coaxial means the axis central axis of the central wire is coinciding with the center of the outer cladding so you can see that i'll show the example as well twisted pair cabling so twisted pair cabling you can see this is a type of electrical cables where you have twisted wires inside one single cable so you can see that twisting means doing like this so take a wire and then you start twisting um and i'll just show you example okay so if this is like two wires then it is twisted so this is twisting so the wire is twisted like this and this is put in a cladding you can see it in electrical cables see if you have spare wires in your house so don't cut your electric cables which is running in the house don't tell your parents that i told you but you can uh, have a piece a small piece extra piece which is available just cut it open and see what's inside so you will see this coaxial cable in your dish tv or um, what you say like if you have a hardware connection then in that and then you have this twisted pair cabling in your electrical cables and then there is fiber optic cables which are your internet cables or the telephone cables if you have a landline then there is a fiber optical cable or if you have internet like uh, fiber net act fiber net geo fiber net airtel fiber net whatever it is if you have a fiber net cable then you have this fibers inside so if you cut a small piece and check for that then you can see all those wires i'll, I'll try to show you those wires i have samples with me i just uh, forgot to keep it with me 
return value. Right. So look at this figure. So you have a sender here from one side. And then this is an example of a bounded media, which is a optical fiber. So this is like the signal is sent inside in the form of light waves. And the principle followed here, it is total internal, sorry, total internal reflection. So the light is reflected inside completely. You have, you call this inside material as core and the outer plastic material, you call it as cladding. And then it travels inside, it's not going outside at all. So it's being reflected internally completely and then it is received at the other end. So this is fiber optic communication. So we'll not go into this now, right now. At the end of this unit, we have this. This is just an example of a bounded media. So you have a boundary. I mean, there is a media through which this electromagnetic wave has to pass. So this core is the medium through which the electromagnetic wave has to pass. But there is something called as cladding, which is protecting this core or which is around this core. And this is acting as the boundary, as a bound. So the movement of this electromagnetic wave is restricted because of the cladding material. So then we call this as a bounded media. So this core is the media and this is bounded, bounded with cladding. And then next we have unbounded or unguided media. So what is that? Unbounded or unguided media or wireless media doesn't use any physical connectors between the two devices communicating. Usually the transmission is sent through the atmosphere, but sometime it can be just across the rule. So there is no boundary. There is nothing stopping the motion of this. <laughs> Lavanya, mute yourself. Right. So there is nothing which is stopping the motion of this electromagnetic waves. So the waves are very free to move especially like when it is traveling from satellite to earth what what is the boundary there nothing it's just traveling right it's just traveling there's no boundary so that is an example of this unbounded media and then you have this wireless network if you have wi-fi and then from the router to your mobile Signals are just passing. There is, there is no guide. Okay, this bounded media is like guided media. So the shape of the material will be guiding the wave how to pass. So if you have a fiber cable like this, so if, if the cable is like this, so your light is restricted to pass through the cable like this. If the cable is like this, so your wave will start here and it will go here. So the straight going electromagnetic wave has been bent now and it is reaching this point like this. So this is a guided media, whereas Wi-Fi network or the uh, mobile communication while you're doing the microwaves which are coming and the satellite communications. So all these things, they do not have any guided media in between. So the waves just travel like a free. You know, freelancers, they do not have any constraints. They just write whatever they like. So this is the same way. So there is nobody to tame. There is nobody to stop. They just travel as they like. That is unbounded or unguided media. Okay, I don't see people at all, why? There is only one person here. Others are all off. Nobody is on Wi-Fi, everybody is on mobile data. Okay, stay there, just a minute.
Okay, so somebody Lavanya Astha, please mute yourself. All right, so now I've muted everyone. If there is anybody on Wi Fi, please, please turn on your video. It's nice to see you and talk, you know, just talking to the screen, it's, 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 it's boring to me as well. Okay, so meanwhile, so while these wires are coming, we'll go with our actual topic. So I, I, today we'll have some basic introduction only, not much. Uh oh. I didn't share the screen with you, no? Sorry. Okay. Right, so I hope you can see this diagram. Look at this, transmission of waves through a media. So you have two media, consider here. One is more dense media and one is less dense media. What is the example of this? Like glass and air. So glass is a more dense media and air is a less dense media. So if this is the case with the media. If you are throwing it, cut. A fiber cable the chuck down the just cut it is cost up a fiber stupid is the coexist cut on the correct straw cut it okay and then this is more dense media so look at this we have uh, more dense media and less dense media so when if this electromagnetic wave is incident here on a more dense media. And what's happening when the medium is changing? So this is called the interface. I mean the border or the boundary of this medium is you, you call it as interface. So at the interface, what's happening? The path of this electromagnetic wave is changing. So this thing we call it as refraction. What do we call? We call refraction so what is this how does this look so this i i is angle of incidence angle of incidence is less than the critical angle okay and then we have this the other type angle of incidence is equal to critical angle then what is happening to refraction so the refraction is at 90 degrees so if the angle of incidence is such that yeah if angle of incidence is such that the angle of refraction is 90 degrees then you call that angle of incidence as critical angle this is what you have learned in your fiber optics i guess we had this critical angle thing and we had during uh, um, brewster's angle brewster's law when we were doing we have learned about this critical angle there also tan theta p is equal to 90 degrees and then what's happening what did you get it and then and then we have uh, this the other one the third one if the critical angle is 
incident angle is greater than critical angle and then what's happening this refraction is turning into reflection it's not getting refracted so this is this method or this principle we call it as total internal reflection so this principle is followed inside fiber optical cables so the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle there so that the light does not go out of the medium it just stays inside the medium and then it gets reflected reflected inside the medium and then there is transmission of data i'll show you the cables now just a minute Okay. Right. Even now, I don't see students. There's only there's nobody here. I don't know why. Huh? There's nobody on video. I don't know whether students are seeing me or not. Children, are you seeing me? No. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Yes, ma'am. I'm not seeing you. All right. So I'll show you this. Mm -mm. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this wire. Can you see this? So yes, this, this is an electric uh, wire I got, but I, I couldn't get the twisted one. But you have twisted uh, wires inside this. I don't know whether it is clear. I'll try to show. See, there's this copper wire inside this. Okay, so uh, I think you can see the copper wire. And then these wires are put inside another wire. This is not a coaxial one. This is the twisted cabling structure. So you have the twisted cables and then you have this. So the information or the electromagnetic waves signals can pass through the copper wires which are present inside this okay so this is the twisted type the coaxial one i couldn't get that but as i told you your dish or your cable tv cable is the best example for the coaxial cable you have copper wire at the center and then over that you have this cladding i'll show you the fiber optic cable so the one which we like, everybody likes. See, to look onto the surface, it looks like this. 